Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever time it is where you are right now. So I wanted to take some time to share what we've been up to this week. So we didn't so much make a thing, but we did make a web store. And by a week, I mean about nine months. So roll back to about 2015, and if you've followed my adventures as JJ Industries or on the RPF, um, you'll see that I was at the front end of a lot of research uh, on Kylo Ren when we first saw any details of that guy coming out. Um, and there was a lot of excitement and, you know, uh, revel revelations about the costume as people were digging through all the little details and tidbits. So every time something new came out, we poured over the details. Um, because we're such detail-orientated nuts, we pulled out everything we could, recreated every detail we could. But the one main stumbling block was the fabric. So you could find random bits in the wild that were close or almost, but nothing was really close enough, at least not for me. So I decided to embark uh, on a journey to see if I could make my own fabric. Um, and I thought, how hard could it be? It, it, it's, it turns out it's quite hard. <laughs> so anyway, I, I got in touch with a lot of mills, and I'm going to kind of get into that in another video. I don't want to go into too much depth here. Um, but yeah, uh, I might even vi visit the mill where we ended up making the fabric. So anyway, doing those first few um, sort of 100 to 200 to 300 metre runs um, was just hell for me because it was continuous messages, updates, rechecking, shipping, addresses, just everything. It was just, it was a really hectic and busy time for me at a time that I was still very busy in my day job at work. Um, and yeah, and so it was it was hard for me. So by chance, I had there was a really enthusiastic tweet by Sam Tyson to Cosplay Fabrics, who were a fledgling company at the time, um, saying you should get this fabric stocked, and 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 they did. They got in touch and we struck up a deal. And I'm so thankful for everything they did for me, the fabric, the community, and. I'm on great terms with those guys, so they did some runs for for a couple of years, um, and then they just they decided it it wasn't a good fit for the business anymore, which is fair enough. It happens, um, but the community wasn't done uh, with the fabric yet, and I said, you know, I want to um, I want to still make this available for people. So after nine months of wrangling um, with UPS and Big Commerce and, and Braintree and PayPal and Amazon Pay and oh my God, so many systems, um, I finally managed to get a web store and running because I really wanted it to be an experience that was easy for people, um, it was smooth and it worked just like all of the, the big retailers because you'd be surprised how hard it is to get all that tracking stuff built into one. So I guess I'll show you a little bit of the web store. So we'll we'll head over there now. So I'm re I'm really happy with the layout. I want to keep everything super simple and basic. As you can see, we've got a lot of products, and by a lot of products, I mean one. <laughs> but you know, if that's all we have on the web store and it's successful, that's that I'm so happy. That'll be more than enough. So you can head into the product. You can look at some pictures. Um, Maxi Jasmix has sent me some really awesome photos of actually the, the costume sewn up with the fabric. So I'm probably going to add some of them to the website at some point soon. So you can go ahead, select your size, you know, no, no, nothing unordinary about all this. So let's put 10 meters in. Um, you can read some of the little details of the history, add it to your cart. And if you've got Amazon Pay, you can just go straight in there or PayPal. You can check out right now. It'll throw your address details in there. There's no big deal. But let's proceed out to checkout. And then from there, it'll load. And you can select your address. And then you can just pick your shipping type. And it's dynamically generated for your address. That is the bit that probably took the longest in the web store. But I'm so happy that I did. You can continue from there. You can you know, put your, your, your card details in. You can pay by card. You can pay by Amazon Pay, PayPal, whatever. Um, and then it'll ship out to you. The mill will ship it out. Uh, they'll mark it when it's shipped. You'll have tracking numbers. I'm so happy. <laughs> I do have to say as well, it's also been a huge investment on, on my part, whether it just be time or money. Um, and I, I hope it really goes well because really to commit to getting the pricing that I wanted for the community, um, I had to commit to a large meterage quantity. So 
you know, if you maybe see me eating bowls of ramen instant noodle in a few months, then you know how it's going. <laughs> but I, I've got faith that it's going to go well, and I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I'm so excited for the future. Um, we've got so much coming up in the new year, um, and I, I cannot wait to share some of it with you guys. We've got some really, really exciting things I'm looking forward to doing in the new year. Um, and for both me and Karen, we're kind of just putting absolutely everything into everything, really, whether it's making props, making videos, uh, and YouTube. So, you know, if you'd like to keep an eye on what we're doing, then please subscribe and follow us. And really, we are only just getting started. There is so much more to come. So, uh, I'm Luke, and Karen's in bed, and we're Mick Daily. <laughs> so I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.